thousand dollars. And by next week, eek up a oh, mm, oh, I, I felt fifty thousand, right? Yeah, that go thirty. I shot out twenty. <laughs> that ain't that ain't that ain't how it happened. That's not how it's happened. You you're not giving you're not giving the blessing anything to multiply. You're just gonna take the involvement of money so it can be multiplied. It's not gonna happen. It's not, I, I, listen, I hate to disappoint you, but listen, folks, everything else is a fantasy. It's not falling out of heaven. God's not raining money out of heaven. It's not gonna happen. You're gonna have to get involved with your money. What? You're gonna have to get involved with your money. We run around the front and we do all kinds of little ballet stuff. Woo! Praise you, Lord! Woo! Woo! And then I say, you gotta get some money. See the feeling like, well, bless God, I tell you what, every time I look around, they talking about money. Well, as soon as you get some, we don't have to talk about it no more. Somebody said, oh, I didn't come here because I want to hear about money. I came here because I need some peace. Well, honey, you need some money or you ain't going to never know no peace. So tonight, I want to talk to you about the relationship between money and peace. A lot of hurt people say, it's not about money, it's about peace, and it's about joy, and it's about love. It's about money. I'm already wealthy, I'm loaded. I got more than enough. I'm a blessed man. I didn't come here to get something from you. I didn't ride here on Delta, I rode here on my own airplane. You understand what I'm saying? Joel 3.16 The Lord also shall roar out of Zion, and utter his voice from Jerusalem, and the heavens and the earth shall shake, but the Lord will be the hope of his people, and the strength of the children of Israel. Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat the Awashai, Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat the Awashai. It's your boy Akdawi here with Awaken Israel here for another lesson. Hopefully this is edifying. I know it was crazy seeing that nonsense in the beginning of the video with these heathens, man. And the crazy thing is our own people destroying us. So, you know, we're going to get into that the Most High is not dealing with Christian sanity, you know, in these buildings made with hands he's not dealing with it so first scripture is isaiah 33 and 6 and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation the fear of the most high is his treasure so that wisdom and knowledge is going to be the stability of the, our times not money like these heathens is talking about okay Job 9 and 24, the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. He covers the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? If the earth was given into the hands of these devils, do you not know that demons infiltrate churches and religions too? Come on now. So of course they're gonna have pastors set up just to pollute the word. And that's why people don't know anything when they go into these churches, these buildings made with hands, right? Because these heathens, what they do, what these devils did was change everything. They changed the Sabbath day to the heathens day, what they call Sunday, because they worship the sun, right? So in Daniel chapter 7, verse 25, it's talking about these heathens. And he shall speak great words against the Most High and shall wear out the saints of the Most High. It's talking about this beast, Esau, and think to change times and laws and they shall be given into his hand until a time and times and the dividing of time so that's exactly what these heathens did they switched to the holy day they changed all kinds of things right now christy insanity they do a lot of crazy things man they they use the j word which means earth pig not only that they worship fish gods that's why the, you know even catholics have the fish Mitri and the Christians, they have the, 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 the uh, J word with the fish symbol around it because it's a cult. They merge all kinds of 
pagan religions. Um, that's why they do this thing. But clearly they're in violation of Exodus 20 verse 4. And this is why it says this. It says, thou shalt not make unto you any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth. Last time I checked, fish are in the water. The reason why the scriptures say that is because the Most High already knew these heathens worship all kinds of weird things. They worship skulls, bones, fish, all kinds of weird things, right? So it gets deeper, man. And, and like I said, there's nothing like, well, like the scriptures say, Salaki, there's nothing new under the sun. They've been doing this way back when, and they're still doing it now. We're going to go to the back book of Maccabees, first Maccabees, and we're going to go down to where first Maccabees chapter one, <clears throat> and we're going to start at verse 11. In those days went there out of Israel, wicked men, Salaki. In those days went there out of Israel wicked men who persuaded many, saying, Let us go and make a covenant with the heathen that are round about us. For since we departed from them, we had much sorrow. So this device pleased them well. Then certain of the people were so forward herein that they went to the king who gave them license to do after the ordinance of the heathen. Whereupon they built a place of exercise at Jerusalem, according to the customs of the heathen, right? And made themselves uncircumcised and forsook the holy covenant and joined themselves to the heathens and were sold to do mischief. So that's exactly what's going on when you see those heathens. They look like us, right? But that's what you see sellouts, right? who formed alliance with the heathens they're, they're sellouts because you know they're about filthy lucre about money you know they don't teach anything they don't separate the clean from the unclean and we, we're gonna get into it this is the book of ezekiel chapter 22 verse 26 and this is talking about our own people her priests have violated my law and have profaned my holy things they have put no difference between the holy and profane neither have they showed difference between the unclean and the clean and have hid their eyes from my sabbaths and i am profaned among them that's why no one knows what the, the the sabbath is in the christian church right no one knows about the food laws in leviticus 11 what you can eat and what you can't eat because they don't they don't separate and show you the difference between the clean and the unclean all they're about is money it's just a business to them. And that's why they're going to be judged accordingly by the Most High while Yahweh shy. So this is the book of Micah, chapter 3, verse 11. The heads thereof judge for reward, and the priests thereof teach for hire, and the prophets thereof divine for money. Yet will they lean upon the Most High and say, It is, is not the Most High among us? None evil can come upon us see next scripture we're gonna get into matthew chapter 6 verse 24 no man can serve two masters for either he will hate the one and love the other or else he will hold to the one and despise the other you cannot serve god and mammon so that's saying you can't serve the most high in money right so a lot of these wacky tacky christians think they can serve the most high and money they crazy they delusional this is a book of uh second corinthians chapter 6 verse 16 and what agreement have the temple of yahweh with idols for you are the temple of the living power as yahweh has said i will dwell in them and walk in them and i will be their power and they shall be my people right And this is showing, this is about the true church right here. Acts chapter 7, verse 48. How be it the most high dwelleth not in temples made with hands, as said the prophet. Heaven is my throne and earth is my footstool. What house will you build me, said Yahweh? Or what is the place of my rest? See, these churches, the most high ain't dealing with these churches. That's why when you see Esau come through and, you know, 
shoot it up or something crazy the most high is sending out warning shots pun intended so people can learn that's not where he's dwelling he don't deal with that because christy insanity is full of paganism that's a bunch of bunched up heathen customs rolled up into one heathen religion that's really what it is this is the book of matthew chapter 18 verse 20 for where two or three are gathered together in my name there am i in the midst of them so yahusha is going to be in the midst of wherever two or three are gathered we can be anywhere in fellowship and really this video is to encourage our brothers out there to start fellowshipping wherever you are you don't have to go in a building you 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 just get together with some people and pull, pull you know open up the bible and then go over the scriptures that's what fellowshipping is about learn together and grow together right you don't need these heathens to go in that building so these heathens could brainwash you and teach you things incorrectly that's why again a lot of people have no idea what the scriptures say i'm gonna show you in this scripture right here talks about you know people are gonna be hearing the word randomly hearing the teachers randomly right the word comes unexpectedly is my point this is Isaiah chapter 30 verse 20 and though the Lord give you bread of Salakia and though the Lord give you the bread of adversity and the water of affliction yet shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner anymore but thy eyes shall see thy teachers and thy ears shall hear a word behind thee saying this is the way walk ye in it when you turn to the right hand and when you turn to the left so us israelites you see us across the world waking up now we on the corners we're on the streets wherever and these people walking about are sick they're hearing and when i say they're sick i'm talking about they're full with sin and they're not knowing the truth they're hearing the word unexpectedly because the most high has his brothers his salaki his children on the highways and byways that's where we are right this is the book of mark chapter 2 verse 17 when yahweh heard it he said unto them they that are whole have no need of the physician but they that are sick i came not to call the righteous but sinners to repentance so when it's saying they that are whole need not a physician those who already understand this truth they're not the one that needs the doctor to fix them it's the sinners that are sick right most sinners are not going to just go you know have plan they're going to wake up one day and be like hey i'm going to go here and learn you know the bible and stuff like that that's why the word has to come unexpectedly it has to hit them when they least expect because in their mind they're not looking to learn righteousness so in other words the most high is so merciful he has his uh his people up to reach them wherever they are it doesn't matter where you are the word of the most high the word of yahweh will reach you unexpectedly that's what it's about this is the book of first corinthians chapter 3 verse 9 for we are laborers together with yahweh ye are yahweh's husbandry ye are yahweh building so we are the most high and yahweh Shah is building us when we out and about we could be at work we could be anywhere when that scripture come out take heed of those that's you know telling you about the scripture because it could come randomly, as I said, unexpectedly. This is 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 19. Know ye not that ye are the temple of Yahweh, and that the spirit of Yahweh dwelleth in you? If any man defile the temple of Yahweh, him shall Yahweh destroy. For the temple of Yahweh is holy, which temple ye are. So we are the temple of the Most High. This is the book of James, chapter 4, verse 8. Draw nigh to Yahweh, and he will draw nigh to you. Cleanse your hands, ye sinners, and purify your hearts, ye double-minded. So in other words, we need to get right. We need to seek the Most High, and he will open that door. If we seek him and his son, Yahweh Shai, they will open the door for us. And this is a big thing right here, because this place, Babylon, is full of chaos full of idolatry right all kinds of wickedness is flowing through this place and the most high is telling you and through your that we need to come out of her ways the ways of these this nation 
right? They doing everything that's going off. Revelation 18 verse four. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins and that you receive not of her plagues. So these plagues is coming. This place will get destroyed. And off that note, I say call halal, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakakwadash. I'm Akta Weed. I hope this lesson was edifying. And to you, I say Shalom. Oh, I am. I'm only burning my half. All you care about is money. It's not about money. It's about sending a message. Everything burns.